Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I got a request to do a video on the different branches of ultrasound. Let's just get into the video. Okay, so in ultrasound, there are 10 different um, areas that you could go into for ultrasound. Let's start with abdomen ultrasounds. That consists of all your organs in your abdomen. So you're going to be scanning um, the IVC, the aorta, pancreas, um, your left lobe, your right lobe of your liver, um, your gallbladder, the bile ducts, you're looking at your pancreas and your kidneys. In some doctor's offices or hospitals, they also have you scan the urinary bladder as well. You're able to scan and for an appendix um, in the right lower quadrant area to see if you know an adult or a child has uh, appendicitis. You're pelvic. able to moving on from the abdomen. You're able to scan pelvic, so you're going to be looking at the uterus and the ovaries of the woman and the cervix of the woman um, and the agnexal areas to make sure there's no masses out there past the ovaries. The other thing is um, that's from above and then you'll go into endovaginal uh, or um, EV is what we call it in the field um, where you'll it brings up the image of the uterus and the ovaries at a at a like a magnified view and you're able to look at the lining of the endometrium better you're looking at the ovaries better the structure it, to make sure if you did see a cyst or a mass you're you're looking at that and you're evaluating that um you're able to see the cul-de-sac better to make sure there's no free fluid or anything like that in the pelvic area um vascular and vascular consists of the carotids upper extremities and lower extremities but you will also have to do um the IVC and the aorta scan for triple aneurysm doing vascular that's what you're going to look for as well so you're looking at your aorta your IVC um you might have to do the renal arteries to rule out hypertension if the patient has a hy unexplained hypertension you're looking at the kidneys making sure there's no mass there's no blockages in the kidneys those are the aspects of vascular and then you have um Neurosynology. Neurosynology is when you scan the brain and you do transcranial Dopplers. Transcranial Dopplers and that's making sure, you know, like a lot of patients like um, it will go with like, oh, I'm getting headaches in my eyes and things like that and they make sure that there's no narrowing of any arteries. So you scan for Neurosynology. Um, that's another area of ultrasound. So I've covered abdomen, pelvic, um, vascular and now I'm doing neuros neurosynology. Neurosynology um, also deals with neonatal heads so that's infants like born early prematurely um, heads and you can also get them um, if they weren't born early if the doctor suspects something going on or if there's a bleed in the brain um, and to tell you the truth that's my favorite ultrasound to do. I love scanning baby head, baby brains, love it to death. Um, and just FYI. And you have musculoskeletal, so you scan the muscle system of the body um, for or tendons, you look for tears, um, you look for muscle tears, um, and so there's muscle skeletal there's vascular, there's um, abdomen, there's GYN, and there is neurosynology. So five so far, we got five more. Pediatric sonography. Pediatric sonography um, is just what it says. All the above, but you're just doing it on kids. Um, there's no different, it's just like an adult, but their structures are just smaller, and you have to deal with a lot of crying sometimes. But very simple um, a lot of kids have uh, masses that adults don't have um, in the 20 years I've never found a mass on a child praise God but this is what we look for this is you know why is the kid getting UTIs you know sometimes their ureters are off but um, or reversed you know, reverse flow so yeah pediatric sonography that's just what it simply says you're not doing it on adults you're not doing it on geriatrics you're just doing it on peds and that's with that one so that's six covered seven is breast 
um, and breast is in a field by itself, but a general ultrasound tech should learn how to do ultrasounds of the breast. Um, and that's simple. I don't have to really explain that one, but you have breast imaging. So if a mass is seen on mammogram, or if you're having breast pain, or if the patient doesn't want to have a mammogram, you're going, and we also do biopsies, but you're getting a breast ultrasound. Echo. You have echo, and you have pediatric echo, and you also have, and you also have fetal echo. So with that being said, um, you three portions of echo. You can go into peds, you can go into fetal, and you can have adult echo. Um, and that's just looking at the vascular system of the heart. Um, and I think that's pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, uh, I, th I yeah, I believe that's just self-explanatory. So it's just looking at the heart, looking at the valves, looking at the you know the muscles, how it's pumping, all that type of stuff. Um, and if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I am an open book. Um, I am. I love to teach. If you ever need help te um, scanning, I'm here. Um, you know, there is a small fee, but I'm willing to help. Um, I I do that on the side as well. Um, I go and teach people how to use ultrasound machines, GE mostly, but um, I'm application specialist. And so I go and I train and I teach people how to do certain exams. And I also learn how to teach them how to use the machine. The next thing is small parts. Small parts fall under abdomen, but um, that consists of testicles, thyroid, um, any lumps or bumps that the patient may have. Look at lipomas, soft tissue, um, uh, what is it, lymph nodes, you know, things like that. We look at that as well. So that's not a branch of ultrasound, but it falls under abdomen. And when I say it falls under abdomen, abdomen is a broad spectrum of things that we that you have to learn how to scan so with that being said um spi physics is the other not branch of ultrasound but you have to have spi the physics portion of of um of ultrasound and understand that as well and the next one is ob um a lot of patient a lot of people assume that ultrasound oh you just do babies all day no i don't mm -mm. um I don't like scanning OB, to tell you the truth. Um, it's too meticulous. It's it's a lot of information. I could knock one out in 20 minutes. It's not a problem, and probably less time than that. Let me, let me tell you this. I don't like scanning OB. It's just too time consuming. Um, but I enjoy the patience and the excitement that they have behind, oh, I'm coming here to see my baby. But um, I like that part of it, and I like enjoying in those festivities of the patients and the excitement of them finding out if it's a boy, if it's a girl, if they don't want to know, or whatever. But the um, so it's nine, it's nine, and SPI was the tenth one. Sorry, and, uh, fields or brackets of ultrasound. Um, as a general ultrasound tech. You will scan abdomen, OB, GYN, and small parts, and vascular. And you have five of them just in a general ultrasound tech. Um, the other ones, which are the other four, are specialized. And the other four are pretty much fetal echo, neurosynology, adult echo, and pediatric echo. So those are the nine brackets of ultrasound and I really hope that this answered your question if you have any more please leave them in the comments below I am more than willing to help and to give you more understanding of what ultrasound is all about um, I've been doing this for 20 years and if you don't know my name is Tamika and um, I enjoy it I really do um, I just happen to stumble upon this career and it's been really well for me um, and I hope it's well for you so please 
follow me over on Instagram and DM me messages and you can leave comments below. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button. Um, it helps me out and is able to keep these videos coming. Um, and please share. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you in the next video. Bye.